The logistics sector, which typically employs 5 to 10 percent of the total workforce in developed economies, is going all in on automation. As the industry increasingly struggles to attract and retain skilled workers, its leaders are pouring billions into next-generation technologies in pursuit of dark warehouses. The HL Group just placed a massive order with Boston Dynamics. The world's largest logistics company plans to deploy more than a thousand additional stretch robots from the leading robotics firm to unload boxes from trucks and containers. The machines, which can unload up to 700 boxes per hour, are in use at DHL facilities in North America, the UK, and Europe. The robots can lift boxes weighing up to 23 kilos or 50 pounds. Introduced in 2021, Stretch features a robotic arm with seven degrees of freedom and a suction cup gripper to pick up a wide range of box types and sizes. Its AI-powered vision system recognizes and localizes boxes without needing pre-programmed instructions. The robot mounts on a mobile base, so it can easily move between different dock doors and plugs into standard warehouse power sources. Germany-based DHL has already invested more than a billion dollars in automation over the past three years. The company has deployed more than 7,500 robots, 200,000 smart handheld devices, and nearly 800,000 IoT sensors across its global network. With its extensive air, sea, road, and rail network, the logistics giant operates in more than 220 countries and territories. It employs more than 600,000 people worldwide across its international express shipping, supply chain services, global forwarding, and e-commerce for parcel delivery divisions. The company says it's working with Boston Dynamics to develop new uses for the stretch robots like picking boxes from shelves. Amazon's new robot, Vulcan, doesn't look like a person or move like one. But it's doing a job that until now only people at Amazon could do. Amazon has begun deploying what it calls the world's first warehouse robot with a sense of touch at its fulfillment centers in Spokane, Washington and Hamburg, Germany. The dual arm robot, named Vulcan, uses force sensors and artificial intelligence to handle and organize inventory with human-like precision. Our hands are one of those most amazing parts of our bodies. And it's that physical intelligence, that physical AI that we're trying to give to the Vulcan robots. According to Amazon, the robot can navigate through cluttered environments, gently stow items, and adjust its grip based on object characteristics. See, with the new Vulcan systems, the associate would be working within their power zone for their whole shift, which will make better body mechanics. Their muscles will be less tired at the end of their day. One of the robot's arms features a camera and suction cup for identifying and extracting items, while the other utilizes a spatula-like tool to make space within storage bins. Tactile sensors detect contact and pressure so Vulcan can adjust its grip strength dynamically. Machine learning algorithms interpret sensor data to guide the robot's movements. Amazon says Vulcan robots have processed more than half a million orders and that plans call for more deployments across the U.S. and Europe. Amazon has been focusing heavily on warehouse automation since at least 2012 when it acquired Kiva Systems for $775 million. The e-commerce giant rebranded Kiva as Amazon Robotics and began developing its own in-house robotics systems. Today, Amazon has a reported 750,000 robots in use across its global fulfillment network. The company has built entire fulfillment centers around automation, often referred to as robotic fulfillment centers. Amazon credits automation with reducing delivery times, cutting costs, and handling seasonal peaks like Prime Day and the holidays. The company was one of the first to explore humanoid robotics for logistics when it began testing Digit by Agility Robotics in 2023 for repetitive tasks like moving empty totes. Oregon-based Agility has been live-streaming its flagship humanoids at work during industry events like Promat and Automate 2025 in Detroit. The newly upgraded Digit robots operate for up to four hours on a single charge. 
They can dock themselves to charging stations independently, reducing the need for human intervention. They're also sporting enhanced limbs and end effectors. Founded in 2015 as a spin-off from Oregon State University's Dynamic Robotics Lab, Agility Robotics is reportedly finalizing a substantial funding round of around $400 million for a $1.75 billion valuation. Agility opened its new factory called RoboFab in Salem, Oregon that's designed to manufacture more than 10,000 humanoid robots annually. Agility is competing with perceived leaders in humanoid robotics like Apptronic and Silicon Valley-based figure AI, which is reportedly in advanced talks with UPS for a major contract. The global logistics giant, which employs nearly a half a million people, is said to be considering the startup's flagship bipedal robot, the Figure 2, within its logistics operations. Figure founder Brett Adcock previously said the startup signed a major logistics company as its second paying customer after BMW that could necessitate 100,000 robots within the next four years. The company released this footage of its robots performing sorting tasks at an unnamed facility to demonstrate its self-developed Helix AI system that powers the humanoids. UPS has already deployed more than 700 robots in its Louisville, Kentucky hub and other locations. In China, SF Express is collaborating with Shenzhen-based Ubitech Robotics to integrate humanoid robots into its operations. Also headquartered in Shenzhen, SF Express has been evaluating the firm's Walker S1 humanoid robots for tasks like sorting materials, transporting cargo, and installing components with precision. Equipped with AI-powered vision and dexterous hands, the industrial humanoids have also been deployed by major Chinese automakers including BYD and Zeker. SF Express operates in more than 200 countries and employs over 400,000 people with strong coverage throughout Asia. Similar to DHL, the company specializes in express parcel delivery, logistics and warehousing, cold chain logistics, and cross-border e-commerce fulfillment. Founded in 1993, the company has been building automated logistics hubs and smart warehouses while integrating advanced technologies like autonomous delivery drones and vehicles, sorting robots, and digital twin and AI-driven supply chain platforms. Ubitech is currently showcasing its Walker C and Alpha Mini robots as part of Expo 2025 Osaka in Japan, which runs into October. The AI robots are engaging with visitors, providing tour guide services, and entertaining with dance performances. The firm's industrial humanoids have gained significant attention thanks to this footage of them working as an intelligent swarm at a Chinese car factory. For more on that, check the related video.